How's it, Sean from Mel's YouTube book site, YouTube channel? Today we're going to be talking about the history of numerology part 3. The alphabet's design and its meanings and how it came into being. So before we get started, subscribe to our channel, it's free. And also make sure you hit that uh, notification bell so that you can get uh, future updates for all our videos. Alright, so let's get started. We can see where the background of numerology is enmeshed in the moral philosophies and wisdoms of the ancient past. It was not just exalted thinking, its base was scientific. The very first alphabet was designed by the greatest spiritual and scientific minds of the day. Just as numbers were not only symbols of quantities, letters were not simply symbolic of sounds. Both were designed to reveal deeper meanings to those initiated into the mysteries. Generally, words are formed to embrace the attributes behind the words themselves. 60% of English words are based on their Greek and Latin origins. The English and Indo-European alphabets are derived from the Roman Latin, which we can trace back to the original Phoenician alphabet. The 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet were considered sacred, as they were believed to have been endowed with God's attributes. The actual formation of the letters has been attributed to Hermes, the wisest of all wise men, who was known to the Jews as Enoch, to the Greeks as Hermes, and to the Romans as Mercury. There were no vowels among the original 22 letters. Vowels were deemed too sacred to write, for they were the animating spirit of words, and the sound of them spoke the true and overwhelming name of God. Instead, vowels were assigned to the seven known planets, the consonants that made up the alphabet were all composed of the flame-like glyph called Yod, and it does represent a flame as it is meant to be a spark of the divine light that makes up the body of God, used for all his creation. Each consonant contains some of God's attributes. Later on in history, the meaning of the Yod degenerated from a flame of light direct from God to that of a phallic symbol representing mortal generation. Alright, so in the alphabet, they added vowels for clarity, admitted sounds they did not use, and added ones they did use, as did all following Indo-European alphabets. Other than that, the letters are very close to the same sequence as that of the original Hebrew letters, are read from right to left for a very special reason. God began creation by his own reflection. In a reflection, right and left are reversed, as can be seen in a mirror. It was important to the Hebrews to show this reversal. By writing right to left, they were going toward their source of life, toward God. It's important to know that Aramaic was the spoken language of the people, while Hebrew was reserved for sacred writings because of its magical qualities. The letter name is the mystical name of a number. And every Hebrew word, when examined, letter by letter, number by number, reveals a hidden meaning, for their letters and numbers are completely interchangeable. The entire Bible was composed of various combinations of those letter numerals, giving important clues to the deeper meanings of the words written. Thus, today, we all use the alphabet and numbers to write our names, places and things. All words from the alphabet and numbers has enabled us in which to describe to one another our thoughts on paper. Alright, so that's it for the history of numerology, part 3. Alright, so please like this video, please share it, and once again subscribe to our channel, it's free. And make sure you hit that notification button so you can receive all our future videos. And also leave uh, comments, notes, suggestions, or whatever you want. Alright, so this is Sean from Mel's YouTube book site, YouTube channel. Until our next video on numerology, good day on you.